Welcome to New Possibilities. I speak truth to power without fear. Today I want to talk about the whole issue of immigration. There have been a, quite a few stories in the news about immigration. There have been demonstrations. And, you know, there have been a lot of stories about how anti-immigrant groups are basically obstructing the path of buses full of immigrants heading towards their town. And I'm referring to the town of Marietta, California. You know, there you have these right-wing groups that are so anti-immigration that they have actually staged protests in the street and block the path of buses. You know, these buses are filled with uh, detained immigrants from Central America who are on their way to detention facilities. When I first saw these images of these demonstrators blocking the path of these buses, the first thing I thought about was the Jim Crow era when racist white people blocked African-Americans from attending white schools. They literally stood in front of the doors to block African-Americans from attending their schools. It reminded me of the crowds that stood outside of those schools yelling all kinds of obscenities towards children simply trying to get an education. It reminded me of those protesters who threw objects at African Americans simply because they were trying to exercise their rights as Americans. It reminded me of how protesters blocked the path of the Freedom Riders who were on buses who basically tried to integrate the busing system in this country. It reminded me of how those, how the racists stood in front of those buses. And in some cases, they actually firebombed buses. That's what it reminded me of. It reminded me of the same kind of ugliness and same kind of hatred that we saw during those demonstrations of the 60s and 50s. Because at the end of the day, you know, the same thing that motivates those anti-immigrant groups is what motivated the segregationists during the Jim Crow era. They were motivated by hatred and fear. Hatred of African-Americans and today's anti-immigration groups and individuals have a hatred and fear of Latinos. They fear the browning of America. That is at the root of this anti-immigrant sentiment. They fear a day when Latinos and African Americans will become the majority in this country. That's what they fear. That is what motivates these anti-immigrant people. And we have to bear in mind that all, or if not all, most Americans are immigrants. Most Americans are immigrants. Our ancestors came to this country for different reasons. You know, the people that want to talk about how they are the real Americans. Many of them are descendants of European settlers who came from Europe. They weren't indigenous to America. There were Native Americans here before 
the European came to America. They want to talk about a violation of law and order. When it was their ancestors, the Europeans' ancestors, who came to this country and committed all kinds of crimes and violated all kinds of legal principles, when they slaughtered, massacred, and committed all-out genocide against the native peoples here in America. And if that wasn't bad enough, these European settlers kidnapped Africans and worked them like slaves, made them slaves, made them property. So they are not in a moral position to talk about anyone violating any laws. So this country is a nation of immigrants. People from all over the world come here in search of a better life. So no one is in a position to talk about who is a real American and who is not. You know, obviously I believe that people should come to this country legally and, you know, become citizens legally. But I think that there should be some kind of pathway for citizenship. I think that there needs to be a change in the immigration policy that we have in this country. And African Americans should seize this as an opportunity to work with our Latino brothers and sisters, work with them to push for reasonable immigration reform. And such a collaboration should be based on mutual respect and joint interests. And as we support them in that cause, they can support us in our cause. You know, in causes like um, the fight to end racial profiling, you know, the fight to protect affirmative action, those are areas that, where we share common interests and where we can work together as a people. Peace.